I am born in a very small town in the northern part of India, and my family is very conservative. Women were supposed to just do the household stuff and take care of the kids and the family. During my 14 and 15 years, I came across the biography of Madame Curie. And that was an inspiring point for me that a woman can do a really remarkable job and can opt a career as a science. My mother always desired to go for education, but she could never get the opportunity. She always motivated me to go for higher education and make a career. When I started my independent research careers and when we had our first work ready for the submission, we thought to first submit to the inorganic chemistry, which is very reputed in our area, the inorganic chemistry. Though they said it is a very good work, but they need a lot of further work to be published. And that was a very good opportunity because see, if you reject the paper without even giving the input, we don't know what is the problem with the work and how we can improve the quality and the content of the work. So in that term, it was very nice experience with the ACS because they gave me three revisions and the, finally that paper got accepted. And I was very happy because the paper which came out as a publication was very nice work. I work in the area of organometallic chemistry and my research deals with the synthesis and application of low valent compounds. The application of these compounds were actually not explored before. People thought they can't undergo for the reductive elimination and oxidative addition kind of reaction. However, in I think 10-15 years back, when the first time this compound was synthesized, was the landmark application in this area people started exploiting these low valent compounds for several applications. You can replace the traditional transition metal catalysts like rhodium, palladium, platinum, iridium, which are being used for several organic transformations. The idea is that you can tune the homolumo gap of these low valent compounds and can try to mimic the transition metals. The main target in this area is that to develop a catalyst based on that main group, which can do the coupling reaction without transition metals. So that will you can convert CO2 to methanol without using transition metal. And I hope this will develop a very uh, cheap environmental friendly uh, catalyst for further organic transformations. Being a part of editorial advisory board member of Organometallics, I have a responsibility to spread the awareness about organometallics, especially in the Indian community, because in India the organometallic chemistry is underdeveloped. It's a really nice way to spread the awareness about this chemistry and to tell them this is a forum where they can publish a good quality work and this is the area which is actually thirst area and can have a wide application in future. Spare time is actually not so much. However, whenever I get time, I like gardening. I like to cook and my favorite is of course the Indian cuisine, the Indian biryani that I really am fond of to prepare. Teaching the undergrads student is the one thing I really enjoy, especially showing them the experimental demonstration of any reaction, which they can visually see the difference that how it is happening, what is the changes happening from reactants to the product. And another thing is that when we do some remarkable synthesis and we do see this is something unusual that can be applied for further in the catalysis or for some application, that also gives me a really real pleasure.